Today we're in the Zuni Mountains. It's going to be in uh, west central New Mexico. And we are trying to get to the top of the highest point in the Zuni Mountains, Mount Sedgwick. I don't know who uh, Sedgwick does. <laughs> but um, that is our goal. I thought we would be hiking but the trail is actually a road so we're going to drive up as far as we can and then hike we have passed the point where it would be prudent to keep going on the truck they would probably take that out of my paycheck if we destroyed that, so we're going to do the last mile or so on foot. Gotta love these guys. He thinks he's hiding from us by holding perfectly still on that rock. But there's our friend the horned lizard. These guys, just a little baby right here. So far the views on the hike up to Mount Sedgwick are pretty expansive, very beautiful. Over here you can see the uh, burned area that we drove through. There's another horned lizard under this rock. The Navajo believe that these are good luck symbols and would actually rub them, catch them, and rub them on their chests for good luck. At least that's what I've been told. Not sure if you'll be able to see this one. Just came across the perfectly healthy Douglas fir with a hole burned in it. That's pretty cool. So there used to be a fire tower here, and I'm not sure what this structure is. At first, walking up to it, I thought maybe it was a fireplace, but now I'm thinking maybe it was a cistern uh, to collect rainwater, uh, because there's definitely no water up here. Off in the distance, that is Mount Taylor. And it's a little hazy, kind of doubt you can see it, but out there is the home range of the Sandia Mountains. It's about 80 or so miles away. It's a really cool old cabin here at the base of Mount Sedgwick. Could be a far service cabin for the lookout uh, that was at the top or I would suggest that it's probably somebody running cattle down in this uh, meadow as it turns out the rancher was the fire lookout so it was both 
Roof's damaged, so I don't want to spend too much time, but looks like their old bed springs are still in here, and looks like they had some sort of water source with a sink or something. Maybe a cistern, or maybe there's even a spring just outside. Home for the night, Ojo Redondo. Well, I guess nap time is over. It's time to get dinner started. Did not expect to get such a incredible sunset. The sun is bright, bright orange. Well, we woke up to a uh, relatively warm 48 degrees for up here at uh, over 9,000 feet. Had a good night of sleep and uh, just getting some breakfast to get ready for the next adventure. Thanks for watching and we will catch you on the next one.